Hello everyone. Today we are discussing in brief about antenna effect. So let's start with what is antenna effect. So antenna effect is a plasma induced damage. So what happens is while fabrication when we are doing plasma aging, so ions the electrons will get accumulated on the metals. Now once these charges are sufficient enough, <coughs> so what will happen is they will try to discharge through some path. So uh, the return path uh, from the metal to the uh, gate of the transistor uh, is already existing. So they will try to discharge through that path and in order to do that they will damage the gate oxide which will lead to the damage of the transistor. <coughs> so next uh, like how we will get to know what uh, in a layout whether antenna is occurring or not is every in our every PDK we have an antenna ratio okay, which is already defined so let's say if I, uh, in a general PDK antenna ratio is 1 so uh, our uh, whatever the metal area so first is what is antenna ratio so antenna ratio is total exposed conductor area by gate area so <clears throat> whatever the conductor area metal area which is exposed to the iron implantation and itching so <clears throat> If you divide it by the gate area, we will get a number which is called as an antenna ratio and this if a num this number is by default less than 1, we will not get any antenna error in our DRC results. If a number is more than 1, will the DRC results will flag antenna error. So this number is uh, <coughs> like it's uh, dependent on the PDK. So whether is a 90 nanometer or 45 nanometer or 5 nanometer every PDK have different rules so <clears throat> uh, and it is a reliability issue what happens in antenna effect is when we are doing plasma etching let's say this is a wrong routed metal from the gate when we are doing plasma etching so ions will get accumulated on this gate now these ions will try to discharge through this path and in order to do so they will damage this gate <coughs> okay so to overcome this we have two solutions so first is if we are using a metal jumpers second is by using an antenna diode so how metal jumper will have will depend how antenna diode will help let's see so <coughs> and by using metal jumper let's see Let's say our, this, our metal is M2 and uh, our signal is going in metal 2. So this was a long routed M2. Now what we will do is we will just uh, <coughs> chop this metal from near to the gate and we will just put a jumper of higher metal. We will jump to M3 and we will come back. So what will happen is now our metal area which is exposed to the um, <coughs> this <coughs> etching so that is reduced. Uh, so the metal area by gate area so the antenna ratio will reduce so it will come within the limit so we will not get any antenna error so next is by using <coughs> antenna diode so how antenna diode will help is we will add this diode near to the gate so now whatever the charges will be accumulated on this metal so these charges will be discharged through this diode to the ground <clears throat> it will be connected in a reverse bias okay so uh, but using diode and using metal jumper uh, using diode have some disadvantages as well so adding diode will lead, lead in, in, to increase in the leakage because this is, since it is uh, connected in reverse bias there will be a leakage current flowing through it so we can't <clears throat> stop that second is it will increase the cap on the gate node Okay. So um, this was a short brief about antenna effect. Please reach out with your questions in comment box. Thanks.